Outdoors and welcome to another episode of Field Day Fun. We are here at Shape Nola in New Orleans, Louisiana, having a great time at this PE convention. I thought we could do our next episode on the scene, and what I did was I grabbed a special guest. So if you can welcome Miss Kelly Brown to Hi. our show. How are you doing, Kelly? I am great. That's great to hear. Are you having a good time here at NOLA? I'm having a fantastic time. That's awesome. You see a lot of people you know. I've run into so many people. I'm so excited to see everybody and hug them in person. Yes. This has been a fantastic conference. All right. So, well, you know the drill. We did this last season. You were my very first guest. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play five fun facts. I'll ask you a question. You give me the best answer that you can, okay? Got it. All right. So, let's do number five. A uh, quick intro of who you are, what you teach, and where you teach. All right, I am Kelly Brown, and I am from the great state of Georgia. I teach pre-K through second grade. This is my 32nd year yeah. of teaching. Uh, cool. I have 22 days left with my students, and this will be my final field day. All right, so you can come ready to go it. on this. Yep, this is it. Okay. So with number four, last year we asked everybody what was the platform they were on. You know, some people were in session, some people were still virtual, or we did a hybrid mixture. Yeah. So how has your teaching been this year? I'm assuming you're back in person, but yes. what's it been like with having just about every kid back in session now? Um, so where we are, I have had kids fully on for two years. Okay. We never shut all the way down except for those first three months, that first two, three months. Got you. We've been fully in session. We have almost 100% of our kids back this year. Good. So we had probably 80% back last year. That's good. So I have had full classes, normal schedules. Everything's been really the same as it was before. Okay. Any struggles this year? Um, I don't think so, other okay. than maybe some of the kids are a little farther behind right. just because these kids were in kindergarten when it all shut down. Yeah. Um, so we've got, I haven't noticed a whole lot of problems. Okay, that's good. I mean, social media, you see every once right. in a while people are right. saying, I can't do this, this is bad. Yeah, I was just yeah. kind of curious. We I mean, haven't had a lot of restrictions. Okay, well, that's good. To know. Yeah. That's good to know. Okay, so we'll kind of take a blast from the past here with number three. Uh, I know you were on last season and we talked about your board games come to life. Yes, yeah. So I know I watched a little bit, probably a lot of our viewers watched what you had, which was completely awesome. But uh, how, how did that go last year for you? Um, it went fantastic. That's great. Uh, we took all the board game ideas. I got a lot of them from Barb Borden. Uh -huh. And we took them outside and we just blew everything up bigger than life. The kids were totally thrilled gotcha. to be able to play those <laughs> games and some of them were just kind of made up you know right we took the name of the game but then we made up the actual game gotcha uh, yeah i wish i could have been yeah, there i felt was, like i was oh it was fantastic we had a great time. yeah okay so let's go to the big one here so this is your last field day this is your last year teaching yes congratulations thank Wesley. you very much what do you have planned for this year all right this year folks this is it. Okay. This year, our final field day for me uh, is called a flashback field day. Okay. Nice. So, I've been teaching here for 32 years at this school. My para and I have been together for 17 years. It's a good relationship right there. Yes. So, for we are taking one of our favorite games from every year for the last 16 years and we will play those games yeah. that the number of years we have been together. Pass off to you on that one. And my pair is retiring with me. So how many, how many stations? Do you there will have? be 16 stations. So, yeah. We've been together for 16 yeah. years. This is 17. And so she and I picked out the 16 games we okay. want, and they will all be played. You know, it was pretty easy to throw it together once we picked, up our game, picked out the games. Yeah. We've already done them, but some of these kids, like our younger kids have not seen any, right. but the second graders have seen two years of games, you know, so they'll remember a couple of them. Yeah. However, since I've been here, as long as I've been here, the teachers that I work with were my students. So they will remember some of these 16 games. Good. That, that's an that's accomplishment. Very, it's very 
surreal type of thing. And you know, with you know the pairs that are sometimes in there with you, they don't really last long. So yeah. Them think, yeah. You know, they can't do this anymore. With you to have how many? Thirteen years. Seventeen. Seventeen. With her. Good. Nice. Seventeen. That's a that's a great accomplishment. Uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. Good. Good. She's leaving because I'm leaving. Hell, you know, he's gonna. <laughs> oh. She's taking early retirement. Okay. Well, that's good. That's if right. Yeah. If she's not gonna be. Here, you not be in there, yeah. That's... Well, I actually am taking her with me because on our future endeavors that we're about to do next year, she's coming with me and working okay. with me. Okay. So we're still going to continue still be working yeah, together. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. Well, so, <laughs> it's going to be a good. good. It's going to be very a whole lot of fun. Gotcha. Well, let's get to our last one. It's kind of right. sad for me to ask because this is the last question I get to ask for Aww. you. Um, your, and I know we talked about this last season, but your favorite field day activity, and it could be the one you mentioned last season, something you've created, you've done this for a while now, something you maybe participated in with your students. Yeah. What kind of brings you so to your mind? So the one thing that comes to my mind, and I did it for several years, but I stopped doing it for probably the last eight years, I would say, and we will probably bring it back for one final year, is we... We contact the local fire department, and they come out with their ladder truck and hose, okay. and all the kids sit together, and they get ready to be hosed down yeah. by the local fire department. We, and that has been, when we stopped doing it, yeah. I got a lot of bad press, and we, it's, we're, if we bring it back, <laughs> it will be... That they will really enjoy it. We did that last year. I think I got the idea from you yeah. last season when we talked about it because we brought our fire department in to spread the kids down. Uh, they're they're so muddy. They're but muddy and I thought, hot, and it's back in my mind. I thought they're going to get hit with this high powered hose. They did not no, care. It's shot up. it in the they air. They shoot it yep. in the air. And I was like, man, that that's just. And I never let them move. They're allowed to wave their hands. Right. They're not allowed to run around. They, right. Our kids loved it. Um, it's the, the teachers and parents loved it. Yeah. Yeah. They, it's something they never forget because I've got adult that were my students that absolutely still remember this gotcha. and they think that it is That's awesome. it's, and it's a way to connect with the community so well Kelly I it's a bit melancholy isn't it yeah. <laughs> um, if you can one final time in case some of our viewers are wanting to get a hold of you can you please give them your Twitter handle yes. or an email or somehow they can get a hold of you for some help for sure your... so I have um I have a Twitter account. My handle is at Love Primary PE, and um, I also have a personal email okay. that'll that'll be available. Uh, you can get reach me at kbrown1177 at gmail.com, okay. and I actually have probably all 16 years of field days in a presentation because right. I presented at Shake Tampa. Yep. And that's what I presented. Okay. Well, you know, I think we have somebody who wants to come over and say hi to you. Oh my God! <laughs> it's not like you all haven't seen each other. This is Hello. my this is my sister. Hey, Drew. Uh, hi, ladies. <laughs> hi, ladies. Um, I, yeah, I just give you all a hug. Well, dude. you better uh, give us a hug. Uh, well, you know what? And since it's my last one, mm -hmm. I'll be able to come and see y'all. Yes. There the you go. That's right. So. For the last time with Ms. Kelly Brown, um, if you have any questions, don't just don't be afraid to get a hold no, of her. She'll don't, definitely don't. help. And we had Barb on first episode this season, so she should be able still to help you. And remember, PE teachers, no matter how you do it this year, just make sure that you have fun. That's right. This is uh, we are in New Orleans, having a great time, and I will see you next week with another episode. See ya. Right. Bye. Bye.